The Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC will be adding more and more powerful Pokemon that you will definitely want to add to your collection. With this will come a ton of raid battling, but are you prepared? Do you have the best Pokemon of each type at the ready just in case you need it for a successful raid victory? Well, you've came to the right place because in this video, we will be discussing the best Pokemon of each type in Scarlet and Violet. Due to in-game connection issues that can potentially cause raid lag and ultimately end in a loss, I believe having at least one Pokemon of each type fully EV and IV trained to do super effective damage as fast as possible is the best chance of winning a raid if I don't have a good solo build or counter Pokemon. In this video, we will discuss the best water, electric, and grass type Pokemon. Then we will discuss why each Pokemon takes the cake for being the best of the best. And of course, make sure you stick around for the secret sauce. I will then be discussing a single Pokemon that is not only the most powerful psychic type in the game, but the best dark type as well. What's up y'all? Mr. Dr. Professor Titan here, back with another video to enhance your Pokemon adventure. Thanks so much for tuning in to the finale of our four part series where we will be discussing the best Pokemon of each type along with the best raid build for them when Eevee and Ivy training. And of course, like the previous videos, which are linked in the bio below, when taking into account the best Pokemon of each type, I took into account their stats, how good they are when fully Eevee and Ivy training, and then a combination of their abilities and movesets. Also, to make sure you don't miss out on any future Pokemon video game tips and guides, if you don't mind leaving a like, subscribing to the channel, along with helpful videos, I make awesome Pokemon video game and TCG content, so any support is greatly appreciated. All right, y'all, I have to start with this one as it's one of my favorites. The best water type Pokemon, arguably of all time, is the ruler of the sea, Kyogre. This Pokemon has been known to do incredible amounts of damage, and that is no different in raid battles. Kyogre has the fourth highest special attack stat in the game, and I recommend fully maxing out its speed and special attack. With then giving it a Mystic Water to hold, that including its ability Drizzle activating rain upon entering battle gives its water type moves quite the boost. Water type attacks are super effective against fire, rock, and ground Pokemon, so make sure to teach it Water Spout and use that if you have at least 3 fourths of your health. This move does an insane amount of damage, but is based on how much HP you have, so if you drop below 3 fourths, Origin Pulse after Origin Pulse is the best alternative. And if you do end up fainting, you are back at full health to do a ton of damage with Water Spout all over again. And now the last thing you want to see if you are a Kyogre, the best electric type Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet is everyone's favorite new motorcycle dragon from the future, Mirrodon. Having amazing special attack and speed stats, a beneficial nature for special attack and then EV and IV training that, either with HP or speed, is best for raid battles. You'll want to give it a life orb for some extra damage, and its ability Hadron Engine is great because it activates electric terrain, giving it a special attack boost, along with also activating some Paradox Pokemon stat boost abilities if any of your teammates are using them. Electric type attacks are super effective against water and flying Pokemon, so I recommend teaching Mirrodon Metal Sound to lower the special defense of the raid Pokemon, and then if you can pull off a charge too, that will massively increase your next electric move. Then, use an Electro Drift, and this attack even does more power if it's a super effective hit. Now that's electrifying. Next up, the best grass type Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet is a wild card, but hear me out y'all. Chestnut is the best grass type Pokemon for raids as it can learn Belly Drum as an egg move. Having pretty good defensive and attack stats, giving it a beneficial nature for attack, and then maxing out its attack and HP is the best plan of action. From there, you can give it a Citrus Berry to heal up as you will want to use Belly Drum to start you off, which halves your health, but maxes out your attack stat. Grass types are super effective against water, ground, and rock Pokemon, so once you have boosted your attack, Use Seed Bomb or Wood Hammer to do a massive amount of damage. And now the conclusion to the series, the strongest Dark and Psychic type in the game is without a doubt Hoopa Unbound. This Pokemon has the highest base special attack stat and is tied for second highest base attack stat with Palafin Hero Form and Slaking. It is really up to you on how you want to Eevee and Ivy train Hoopa, but I max my special attack and speed for mine with a nature that benefits special attack. Dark attacks are super effective against Psychic and Ghost, and Psychic attacks are super effective against Fighting and Poison. So 
I recommend teaching Hoopa Unbound Light Screen in case you need to put up some defense in your raid, and then you can use Nasty Plot to increase its special attack. From there, its best dark special attack is Dark Pulse, and its best psychic attack is Psychic. So however you are using it, just use these moves again and again with your stat boost, and you'll be in a very solid spot. Thanks so much for watching the video. Y'all. I truly hope that you learned something new. Again, if you don't mind, please support the channel by leaving a like, subscribing to the channel, at Mr. Dr. Professor Titan. I'll be popping out new Pokemon videos every single week. So make sure to stay tuned and maybe you'll learn something new. Thanks so much.